have prayed And you heard my cry For this baby I had faith And you gave new life In this moment morning we are privileged to have this very awesome service uh, baby dedication service it's a great joy to see God is blessing the families or house of prayer congregation today our Mr. and Mrs. Morris Kabimbi is here with a precious son so let's open this blessed service with a prayer father we thank you god for this beautiful morning you have blessed us lord what a joy to see the great miracle of the world the bringing forth of life whom you create your people in your own image and likeness knitted them in the mom's womb and bring them to the world for us to see and touch and have the glory of God. So we want to say thank you Lord for the Morris Kabimbi family and the precious son you blessed. Thank you Lord. We are blessed. We are happy you got us. Since they love the Lord, they are serious with God as they brought the precious gift to their firstborn Daniel Morris Kabimbi to dedicate for the glory of God we commit this service will be filled with your presence oh God bless oh Jesus in Jesus mighty name we pray amen amen at this moment we will have a small chorus to just to worship the Lord and enjoy the presence of God amen the glory and the honor Lord we lift our hands in worship as we lift your holy name you deserve the glory and the honor Lord we lift our hands as we lift your holy name for you are great you do miracles so great there is no one else like you there is no one else like you you are great you do miracles so great there is no 
is no one like our god that's why we are here this morning i wanted to welcome morris and then their family thank you for being here for this awesome service before we dedicate our little son daniel morris kabim we just want to read a few word of god because whatever we do the foundation is the word of god and the word which we speak now when it goes into the mind and the conscience of our little baby it's a scripture reading this morning first reading is taken from gospel of luke chapter 2 verses 21 to 24 gospel of luke chapter 2 verses 21 to 24 which gives the historic evidence of jesus parents bringing jesus to the temple for dedication says on the eighth day when it was time to circumcise him he was named jesus the name the angel had given him before he had been conceived when the time of their purification according to the law of moses had been completed joseph and mary took him to jerusalem to present him to the lord as it is written in the law of the lord every first born male is to be consecrated to the lord and to offer a sacrifice in keeping with what is said in the law of the lord a pair of doves or two young pigeons when verse 39 and 40 of the same chapter luke 2 says when joseph and mary had done everything required by the law of the lord they returned to galilee to their own town of nazareth and the child grew and became strong he was filled with wisdom and the grace of god was upon him amen well, let me read one more scripture which is uh, from same gospel gospel of luke chapter 18 verses 15 onward says people were also bringing babies to jesus to have him touch them when the disciples saw this they rebuked them but jesus called the children to him and said let the little children come to me and do not hinder them for the kingdom of god belongs to such as this i tell you the truth anyone who will not receive the kingdom of god like a little child will never enter it may the lord bless the reading of his word from the two portion of the scripture which we read it shows the importance of dedicating the children to the lord to morris and the family baby dedication is not a replacement of baptism because according to the word of god it is not written so we don't baptize children we bless and dedicate to the children the purpose of why we dedicate when morris and mervis they were united in the holy matrimony here in the church one of god's promises to bring forth godly generation or fruit of the womb is a blessing from god and according to god's promises because his promises are always yes and amen here morris and mervis has come with the promise fulfilled how many months three months three months over a three months old a handsome young man a daniel morris kabimbi so the purpose is you brought them so that you bring the child to the sanctuary we speak a god's blessing and when we are dedicating we are declaring in the presence of god from this moment daniel belong to jesus and no misfortune no affliction no premature death nothing will come to his life and any plan of the enemy against god's purpose in his life will be cancelled and the holy spirit and even the blood of jesus 
as release insulation and also another aspect of uh, dedication as a parents both of you you are also declaring before the god and before the congregation this is the commitment to raise this precious gift in the fear of god that's the purpose of we are so blessed at this moment i request daniel morris kabimbi to bring the parents to the altar uh, let's put our hand let's those who are sitting there clap amen i also request to elder dr christine also join here please hallelujah but which you want to come as a grandparent come come please come it is a joy to see parents and grandparents we rejoice we rejoice please come and uh, uh, stand the uh, uh, doctor come the elder pearl you come behind brother you come close to the morris amen thank you hallelujah here we are so blessed this morning hallelujah amen before we dedicate uh, daniel morris kabimbi we have just a two simple question to the morris and mavis you as a family this morning you have you agreed that today we will bring our precious firstborn daniel to the sanctuary and dedicate him for the glory of god yes yes they haven't heard it they have to repeat it aha uh-huh. close to the for microphone close to the mic yes i do aha uh-huh. yes i do hallelujah since they agreed today in the presence of god and the presence of the saints here we want to hear as a father as a mother you are making a strong commitment that you will do the best to raise your past born precious son daniel morris kabimbi to raise him in the fear of god yes i do yes i do amen hallelujah uh, as their parents have agreed we are going to pray because of doctor i am sure you will agree with the covid regulation better let us not carry the baby see okay doctor we will we will you know for the safety of the baby amen as the doctor touch the morris pearl touch mavis we are going to pray in the name of jesus hallelujah father in the mighty name of jesus we come before you oh what a joy lord how so pray i've seen the way the morris as a young boy grew up in this church hallelujah he was actively involved in the youth and the worship ministry as your faithfulness according to your promise you brought the suitable help of mavis to his life and the united in the holy matrimony on this sanctuary the sanctuary and oh god we bless them as a couple here they come with the first born oh lord what a joy as a leadership of the house of precon along with the grandparents father with the congregation we speak blessing support lord the parents even the child lord today in the name of father and of the son the holy spirit we bless daniel morris kabimbi oka in the name of jesus father let him grow in the wisdom of god and the wisdom of men let them grow in the wisdom knowledge and understanding from heaven and to the men of god lord we speak best life in his life we speak a bright future in his life we speak a best career in his life we pray oh god no weapon fashioned against daniel's life will prosper he will grow as a mighty man of god not only just a blessing to his immediate extended family but a great blessing in the kingdom of god for nations he will be a blessing oh god any weapon
weapon fashioned against his life, his growth, anything. We paralyze it in the name of Jesus. So we speak that blessings upon Daniel, oh God. We pray for the Father, Maurice Kabimbi. Thank you, Father, for the young man uh, whom you raised with the power of God. Lord, today we declare in the name of Jesus, your grace will be upon him as a father, as the priest of the house. You will provide everything for him. He will not lack anything of Jesus. He will take up the priest of the house. Father, we pray for the mother of the house, Marys. Lord, we pray you will give her more and more spiritual wisdom, knowledge, understanding. So she will be able to impart as she nourish the baby of God. In the name of Father and Son, we bless you. Even we pray for the grandfather, Lord, and the grandparents, representing the grandparents from both sides, from father's side and mother's side. We speak them also blessing in the name of Jesus, oh God. Let them also be blessed. Bless God. So today, uh, Lord, at this altar, with myself and the family and elder Dr. Christine, Pastor Peter, all the congregation here, in the name of Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, we dedicate and bless Daniel Morris Kabimbi for the glory of God. Let your precious child live long, well, for the glory of God in Jesus mighty name we pray amen and amen and amen amen as they stand one song to celebrate hallelujah Father, thank you for this moment. This moment of great honor to rejoice. Father, as the Morris family goes, the presence of Jesus will go with them. The glory of God will overshadow them, including Daniel and all of us. Thank you, Jesus. They will come and testify. We will see the great growth, the perfect growth of Daniel to testify goodness of God, faithfulness of God, provision of God, protection of God, and the grace of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and for our especially upon Daniel Morris Kabimbi as he grows. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen and amen. The Lord bless you. So we are happy. Daniel, God bless you. For this child, I have prayed.
despedida.